Today's video takes us over to Alcona, Ontario, Canada at the No Frills Plaza to eat at as many restaurants as we possibly can all day long. No Frills is a Canadian grocery store and is usually the biggest store in any regular plaza and is surrounded by many stores and awesome restaurants. Today we'll be eating breakfast items, burgers, snacks and so much more. If this sounds like an exciting video that you want to watch, then grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy the video. Hey guys, how you doing today? It is Monday morning and we are at this plaza. We're going to be here all day long trying a bunch of different restaurants. But first up, we're going to do breakfast and there's a place over here called the Sunset Grill. I thought we'd go over there and try out something I haven't tried before on their menu, French toast. We'll come back here and eat it with you. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Are you all right so they have like a french toast platter kind of thing or you can add to it and french connection three eggs two french toast and home fries and then if you want to bacon and sausage yeah let's do that let's go big <laughs> go big or go home that's right we're going to do bacon ham or sausage ham okay. ham yeah Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the car and I'm spilling the coffee on my thumb. That's hot, real hot. Oh boy. Let's go to the trusty steering wheel tray before we spill any more things and start eating. All right, okay. So, as you can see maybe in that shot there, uh, they are open for business. We are at stage three. And you can sit inside, you can sit outside. It looks like it's every other table. Um, while you're sitting at a table, you're allowed obviously not to wear a mask. But if you have to get up and go to the washroom, you have to wear a mask, I believe. I haven't been in that situation yet. Of course, I eat in my car all the time, just for you and just for you. After taxes and tip, it was $19.16. Yes, I tip at takeout. They deserve it. She asked me all the right questions, super nice. People are struggling. We got our napkins. We've got our, that's weird. Our French toast is in a bag all by itself. I'm confused. I'm really confused. I would have thought the French toast would have all been laid out. Now I don't know if I got the right thing maybe. I'm the only one standing there getting, everybody else was sitting. I'm the only one doing takeout. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Oh, okay. So this is the French connection with the side order French toast. Not what I was thinking. Again, I was thinking it was going to be like all French toast based and then have all the other stuff on the side. But look at that. Let's go in for a close up. Before I go in for the close up, I just realized uh, she didn't give me any um, syrup for my French toast, no salt and pepper. She did ask if I wanted cutlery, which is great. And I said, no, thank you, because I've got my cold forged uh, set right here. And so I'm going to have to zip in really quick and uh, grab my syrup because I can't have my French toast without my syrup. Now, can I? Let's go get it. All right, got my syrup all ready to go. I think when she asked me about cutlery and I said, no thanks, just napkins. She probably thought I was going back home and you probably have your own syrup at home. That's where I was thinking. Let's go in for a close up. All right guys, here's the extreme close up of the French Connection breakfast here at Sunset Grill. We got our coffee. We get our three eggs, home fries, very large chunks of ham. They're glistening. Hmm, and then these uh, French toast. Um, interesting, uh, it looks like, I think you can, I'm so confused with this company because it looks like their French toast, you can get it in different bread options. And I thought she said, I'm gonna get toast on the side because of all this typical breakfast and you normally get toast with that. But because I wanted French toast, I am actually getting French toast 
made out of rye bread, which is probably like the, my least favorite uh, bread to make French toast out of, but <laughs> live and learn, let's move on. I got a new set of Cole Forge coming my way. The owner lost my videos and uh, he's sending me some more stuff. New and improved, cold forged. All right, let's go in uh, for a quick bite of these eggs. I'm actually going to try and uh, get a piece of this ham. I shouldn't be doing this with my coffee perched. Let's just do a quick sip of this coffee instead. Side tracking, side tracking. It's good coffee, it's very strong. Still crazy hot. So let's see if we can pull this apart. Ham should be an easy thing for the knife. Okay, and then we got a piece of that. Let's break open my eggs. As for sunny side, they're kind of over easy, but. Okay, so we got some egg. We got some ham. And we'll get a potato. If we can, nope, we can't. The fork's not long enough. Mmm, and now I can do a potato. Nicely seasoned. Peel on. I'm just gonna bite it like that because it's not cutting very well. Apparently, the new knife cuts better. The ham is awesome. Look how thick it is. Ooh la la. I love mixing my food together. So I'm going to try really hard to put some egg on there. It doesn't look wonderful, people. Great way to start the day. Show the logo. Let's try this French toast. I think it's the very first time I've ever had French toast made out of rye bread. And I wouldn't personally recommend that in the future. I just, I, I just possible I might like it, but uh, I'm a, you know, nice thick white bread kind of guy for my French toast. So this should be easy for the cold foraged. Oh yeah, let's go. Not my first choice. French toast. I saw that when they were, when I was waiting for my food and the cook was making other orders um, and the waitress was grabbing the orders and taking them to the tables. I noticed that there was one where it was like, I don't know, three or four pieces of French toast with the powdered sugar all over it. That's what I was kind of expecting. Not uh, two pieces in a bag. Again, first time I've ever had French toast with uh, made out of rye bread. It's okay, but I, I definitely prefer a different bread over this. Let me know if you've had French toast with different breads, or do you always have it the same way? I'm curious. I'm glad I tried it at least, even if it wasn't planned. Let's put a whole egg on that chunk of ham and mow down. All right, I'm gonna finish the rest of this off and then we'll plan what we're gonna have for lunch. All right, guys, it is lunchtime and I am hungry once again. So I thought we'd hit up Harvey's. It's got a drive-through here. The Starbucks got a drive-through here. Uh, so out of all the restaurants, those are the only two that do drive-throughs. So of course we're going to hit the drive-through. Hi, uh, could I get the uh, number six, please? Uh, let's do rings, please. Yes. I guess I'll just do a Coke. Tomato, lettuce, onions, ketchup, mayo. A mustard? Anything else? That's it, thanks. Perfect. All good? Yeah. Alright, see you at the window? Yeah. I took her line. That's her line. See you at the window. Please drive up. Move ahead, sir. Move ahead! 
So Harvey's catchphrase is, Harvey's makes a hamburger a beautiful thing. And it's set up like Subway where you uh, get your burger and they basically make it for you right there in front of you. They have all the ingredients laid out and uh, you just pick and choose as much as you want. No extra costs. Thank you. All right, people, let's park it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are parked. Let's just put that down there for a second. Came to $12.08 after our Canadian Ontario taxes. So and that came with rings, napkins, the drink, and an original burger with whatever the hell I wanted on it. Thanks, Harvey's. All right, guys, going in for the extreme close-up of this beautiful Harvey's lunch. First up, Harvey's uses paper straws. Thanks for thinking of the environment, Harvey's. Let's move down that drink and check out that condensation. It is hot in the car, and that drink is frosty. And then over here, we got our onion rings. What do you guys like on your onion rings, man? I love uh, vinegar and salt and heavy on both. And I love those kind of onion rings right there. And over here, we've got our beautiful original burger. Let's take that lid off. Oh, yeah. It's a non-toasted bun. We've got our condiments. All the stuff that I asked for. We got our cheese. We got that perfectly grilled patty. Let's start eating. I'm screwing around. I forgot to mention the cheese and the bacon, which was glued to the bottom. Look at those super crispy chunks of bacon. Holy schmoly. Well done. I'm not meaning good. I mean, it's well done. <laughs> All right, let's take a bite of that original burger from Harvey's. Mmm. Classic, man. You come to Canada, hit up Harvey's, get an original burger. They have restaurant chains right across Canada. They're in every major city and town. A lot of towns. A nice frosty cold sip of that Coke. They go hand in hand. Harvey's has got a lot of other drinks on their menu. I just felt like doing a Coke. Mm-hmm. I picked all the right toppings. It's like everything is just works together. Mm -hmm. Check out those onion rings. Again, normally I just vinegar them up, salt them up, eat them straight away before I had my burger, before I even took a sip of drink. That's how I normally do it. But I forgot to ask her and I don't want to go in. Mm. One of my favorite onion rings right there. It's just the kind of batter they put this in. It's just perfect. Well, that one's hot. Woo! A few more and we're back to the burger. Look at that thing of beauty. It's like about five bites and it's done. Big mouth. All done my lunch, can't wait for snack time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a snack. And uh, I think we're gonna do a slice of Pizza Nova pizza. A lot of you guys love Pizza Nova. So let's go in there, grab a slice, and come back here and eat it with you. Hello. Oh, all right, how you doing? I am going to try a piece of this mushroom melt that looks fantastic. Red onion, bacon, pepperoni, creamy garlic sauce. I've never seen that before. Yeah, that's the only place. Really? Yeah. I'm so lucky. Thank you. All right, back in the car. This is a gourmet slice, so it is $4.79. After taxes, it comes to $5.41. Again, here in Ontario, Canada. All right, going in for the extreme close-up. 
Check this out. Gourmet slice. I am looking so much forward to this garlic sauce. Bacon. Red onions. Look at that crust. Perfectly cooked. The pepperoni. Oh, look at that glistening bacon. The mushrooms. I'm losing my cool. I never had a cool. All right, let's eat it. Still have some Harvey's drink left over. Ah, again, Coke and pizza, super combination. All right, cut it in half for me. This this particular time is fine. I didn't even notice him cutting it. He's so swift and quick. All right, check out that crust. That bottom, how's the bottom? Perfectly browned, perfectly golden brown. All right, oh, look what they did with the, uh, the pepperoni. They kind of cut it up in little slices. All right, let's take a bite. Mmm. That's good. I'm trying to figure out the crust, the flavor of that crust, and then the crunch of the onions and that garlic sauce. That's phenomenal. That is a very nice slice of pizza, people. If you have a Pizza Nova close to you, it's probably on their online menu. You could probably order this uh, and have this delivered to your house. But he did mention that they're the only ones that do it out of all the other Pizza Novas, maybe? Didn't quite catch that, but you saw it was on it. You can just say, can I have a, a pizza with this stuff on it? And they'll probably make it for you. Why not? If enough of you guys <laughs> go into the store and ask for it, they're like, okay, we'll have to make it at every single location. That's probably one of the uh, better pizzas I've ever had at Pizza Nova. Great combination. And that garlic sauce is just dynamite. Because it is worth getting. All right, guys, all done snackies. I'm going to go for a walk, hang out a bit, watch a couple videos on my phone, and then we'll hit up another restaurant in this plaza. All right, guys, I'm all done my walk. I sat back, relaxed, watched some videos. We had our breakfast. We had our Canadian burger for lunch. Let's go Mexican for our afternoon snack, and then we'll head over to Starbucks because it is 38 degrees Celsius, which is just over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm really hot. I want to get something cold to drink, but I also want to eat some Mexican food. Let's go. Love to try your sh small shrimp burrito, please. Uh, let's go white, please. Okay, great, thank you. Uh, yes, please. And of course, the black beans. Oh yeah, those are nice. Yes, please. As long as you can close it, we'll, we'll keep filling it. <laughs> I would love to get some cilantro. And is that jal that's, uh, jalapeno? Yep. Okay, just a little bit of that would be great. And then of course guac. That's fine. Oh my. That's perfect. And what kind of sauce would you recommend? Can, can we do a little bit, because that looks beautiful. Just a little bit, a tiny bit of that, and then, and then go for the medium. Yeah, I don't want to... It's, it's already hot enough outside. Oh, uh, let's do the burrito sauce, please. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's going to be a killer. That's it, thanks. Oh, looks sizzling. Nice.
Oh, look at this. We've got brownies, we got cookies, drinks. All right, thank you. You too. All right, guys, got the burrito. Now let's go get some cold type of drink here at Starbucks. And I haven't had a cold beverage from Starbucks in a while, so I don't know what to get. Maybe we'll just ask, we'll do the whole uh, order, letting the person in front of me decide what to drink. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. What can I get for you today? How are you doing today? Not too bad. How are you? All right. I need something cold, but I don't know what to get. What, what's your favorite cold drink? Um, I really like our refresher. So, like, I really like the mango dragon fruit refresher. Oh, the mango. F I'm not a big frappuccino fan because I uh, find them a little sweet. Okay. Uh, um, let's I also really, really like our peach green tea lemonade. Pin, peach green tea lemonade. You yeah. know, you know what? Let's let's do the, the the mango dragon fruit lemonade and the the peach one. I'll try both of them. Awesome. Are those going to be a grand size today? That was all I'm going to get. Yeah. Awesome. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. Thumbs up, Sue. Too coming up. Thank you. Thanks a lot. They both sounded so good, and it's so hot. I think I'm going to be able to drink both of them, no problem. Thank you. Straws as well for them? Uh, yeah. Straws would be good, okay, I think. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. Are you aware of what Okay, dragon yeah. and yeah, peach. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, Have a great day. All right, guys, going in for an extreme close up of our tasty little afternoon snack. Right over here is that dragon fruit. That looks nice and sweaty, freezing cold. And over here is our peach. And then over here is our burrito. Oh my goodness. We'll take a bite of that maybe first. Or drink that or drink that. Yeah, I think I need a drink first. Cheers, guys. I haven't got a cold drink from Starbucks in a very long time. So I had no idea they had these new lids with a little sippy cup on the side. Uh, so I've stored my straws for another time, uh, but that is really good. It is a little on the on the sweet side, uh, like syrupy. But it is really good. The lemonade uh, cross with that uh, green tea and then the little kick of uh, peach flavor. That is a really good, I could totally see just having that on a hot day, you'll be fine. Let's try this dragon fruit. Sorry, it's mango dragon lemonade. Cheers again. Oh. That tastes like a tropical drink you'd be sipping on by the pool on an island somewhere. Wow, that's nice. The flavors of that, it's like a cross between raspberry, strawberry, and blueberry. That's the, the flavors that I'm getting out of this thing. Oh, that is so good. Mmm. Let me know if you've had this before, and let me know if this is exactly the kind of drink you'd want to be drinking up at the cottage or on an island somewhere. All right, let's get into this burrito. I love shrimp burritos. As soon as I saw it, they had shrimp. A lot of burrito places don't have shrimp, and it's my favorite. I took it right out of the wrapper, but uh, maybe that wasn't the best idea. But look at that, perfectly toasted. I didn't think she was gonna close it, man. She was nice, she saw. She noticed that I was videotaping, and uh, she said as long as I don't show her face, she didn't wanna be in the video, but she didn't mind me videotaping her, so thank you very much to the guac employee. Cheers. Some people get weirded out by it. I understand. And she actually recognized my channel. <laughs> yeah, it's spilling out the bottom. I'm gonna have to re, uh, recalculate. Extremely messy. Uh, yeah, when you get this much stuff in a burrito, it's best to keep it in the package. Uh, this will definitely save my car a little bit. Mmm. 
all those flavors. Once again, it's a stomach party. So many ingredients, so complex in, in flavors and textures. Uh, <laughs> it's just phenomenal. I'm not sure if you get all the same kind of ingredients in your burrito like I do, um, but you know, and I know that a lot of people don't like cilantro, but I can't have a burrito without cilantro. Let me know in the comments below if you're a cilantro kind of person. It totally makes the burrito for me. The jalapenos are hot. Their hot sauce has great flavors to it. Mmm. -hmm. This is definitely a thirst quencher. Uh, the other one is a thirst quencher as well, but it just has more of that fun, relaxed, island party kind of flair to it. Oh, that is fantastic. Not sure if it's worth $10, two drinks. Starbucks. You really know how to put price tags on things, don't you? Yes, you do. <laughs> it's good. If you have a guac, a Mexi grill near you, please check out this exact same burrito. Uh, go small. Uh, you don't need anything bigger than this. It's a lot of food. Put all the exact same things in it I put in it, and you'll enjoy it as much as I did. Once again, guys, I'm gonna sit back, relax, enjoy these beautiful two beverages, and then go for another walk, and then wait for dinner time. All right, guys, it is just after seven o'clock. Let's go get our last meal, and I decided my last meal of the day will be something from Osmos. So let's go in there and get some Mediterranean food. All right, how you doing? So many things to choose from. I think, oh, you got a lamb platter now. Let's do that. For sure. Would you like it with rice, french fries, or veggies? Rice, please. It's a large size, right? Uh, yes. For sure. Anything else for you, sir? Let's see what you got here. Look at bananas. We'll grab one of these. Thank you. I've been looking forward to eating at Osmo's all day. I wasn't sure what I was gonna get, but I got a surprise. The fact that they now have lamb and I can't wait to get into this. Let's do a close up. All right, guys, here is the extreme close up of this awesome lamb dinner. Over here, we decided to go with the strawberry banana they have their own drinks here at Osmos. And then just look at all this food. It is plentiful. It smells amazing. And I decided to go on rice. I don't think you want to put lamb on french fries. But they do give you that option. And then she asked me if I wanted salad. Nope. Uh, I just want to eat this amazing meal. And of course we did a, a line here of hot sauce. And then the crisscross of the other sauce. And then the splish splash of the other sauce. I don't know what these sauces are, but I know it's gonna taste good. All right, guys, let's get into our last meal. All right, first up, we're just gonna do a quick sip of this Osmos strawberry banana drink. Cheers, guys. Wow. That's like nectar. That is so smooth. I was fully expecting it to be more watered down, but this is like nectar. Mmm. Oh boy. I'm glad I got that one. All right, once again, we're going to use the cold forged. It's uh, probably, once again, maybe need a bigger fork for this kind of a meal. But let's just get it up here. Ooh la la. Oh yeah, I can tear that top off, but I don't want to do that just yet. Check that out. Scratch it, sniff it, the rest is mine. Oh boy. 
if you have an Osmos near you, let me know if you've tried the lamb and let me know what you thought of it because I'm I know I'm gonna love it. Mm-hmm. Let's get a little bit of that hot sauce, a little bit of rice, a little bit of lamb. Oh, that's lovely. Hmm. Not the piece I was just going to put in, but it's starting to get the effects and the flavors of the first forkful. Wow, the 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 spices they've put into this uh, lamb. That is awesome. Very expensive. I recommend getting the one smaller because this is huge. I shouldn't have gone so big. The rice isn't dry. It's good. And it is uh, all seasoned up as well. Uh, I'm going to like, do a little stir because that hot sauce is really hot sauce. You know what I'm saying? Very, very hot sauce. Okay, let's get some more of this stuff. Wow. I am so glad I ended off the day with this. Osmos, guys. I know you know who I am. I'm so glad I know who you are. Because you guys make great food. I really enjoy it a lot. And I'm so glad you finally put lamb on the menu. I'm going to have to tell a few of my friends who enjoy lamb as much as I do. Because <laughs> that is phenomenal. That is so much food. Hmm. When I started putting the rice in, uh oh. And then he was cooking on the grill. I'm like, is that going to be all on this? Yep. I think this is my new favorite thing at Osmos. This is such a, a wonderful surprise. One of my favorite things about doing YouTube and doing food uh, for my channel is is things like that just happen to, you know, I'm at this plaza, I want to eat from as many places as I can. I think I only missed one place and it was called Freshy. Sorry, Freshy, maybe I'll come back and do something for you in the future. But uh, I pretty much ate everywhere else. And I was just, uh, you know, I had a few things that I haven't had before and I haven't had this at Osmos, but I'm so glad I had. Cause it's perfect. All right guys, I am all done. The lamb on the rocks. It was absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna finish this off on my drive home, but we're all done here at the No Frills Plaza in Alcona, Ontario, Canada. I had a lot of fun here, tried lots of food, had a wonderful time. And I wanna thank every single one of you guys for all your amazing support on this channel by hitting that subscribe button, leaving comments, hitting those likes, and just watching tons of my videos. Thank you very much. All right, guys, if you wanna show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out this wicked playlist over here, and I'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.